rebuilt the entire Portech website and basically started from scratch and put something together that is going to give us uh, an effective tool to help our entrepreneurs for the coming years. So I wanted to share with you a couple of tips that I thought about in the development and now that it's put into use for a couple of months I'm finding very, very valuable and I'm trying to see if there's some easy ways that you can um, add on to your own website. So five tips, call to action, social media connection, calendar function, direct your audience, mention others. First one. So I'm just going to use the Portek website as an example and just to highlight each of these. So the call to action. Right away, any place on your website where you're giving information, tell your audience what you want them to do. Pick up the phone, order your product, put it in many different ways, and it makes sense. Apply today. Sponsor. The expo is coming up. We will be soliciting for sponsorship opportunities. So why not highlight that on the website in many different ways when people are looking for other information? So you can be thinking about in your own website just places, unexpected ways, quick links to just highlight what you want your audience to do. Number two, the social media connection. Obviously, most websites now all have the join our email, connect to Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn. There's another really simple thing is if you are doing Twitter, for example, just put on your industry tweets on your homepage. That way your homepage is continually being updated with the latest information. You're updating it once on Twitter, it's updating your homepage, it's getting your message out quick without double duty. But also, what I've been finding as we're really bi building up our Twitter feeds is so few websites actually make it easy for me to um, tweet their information. <clears throat> Simple way, if you're doing any kind of articles, any kind of events, Make sure that you put all your social media sharing opportunities on every page, every article. Because if I see something that I think is going to be of use to my audience, I just want to push a button, <coughs> share this, tweet this, you know, make it a favorite. It's a very simple thing to do, and your web programmer should be able to do that without a lot of effort because all the tools are available through the social media. Third one, events calendar. Um, you know, you can embed Google calendars, you can do custom calendars, you can do a list. But the one thing I wanted to highlight is not just put on your own events. We've got clients that say, well, I only do one or two events a year. Why do I need a calendar? Well, again, as part of a general information sharing, on this one, for example, I highlight not only the portrait <coughs> events, but events that are going on with our clients, events that are interesting to our whole broader community. And it becomes, again, with, that, with very little effort, a way of helping your community provide more information and be a resource and it also gives your website um, or gives the audience a reason to come back to your website over and over and over to look for current information. And then last but not least, or is it? No, second to last, direct your audience. A real simple thing to do with an existing website is add a secondary menu on the home page. So if you have different audiences, customers, sponsors, um, you know, student, teachers, parents, your school, whatever it is, put in a secondary menu that directs within your website where that particular audience, where you want them to start the process. Again, it's a real simple addition to an existing website. And then, here's my last one, mention others. 
make sure if you're connected with industry organizations, with customers, with clients, with partners, that you put their information on your website. Because not only it helps you because if somebody's looking for any one of these organizations on a search, they might find you because of it. But also, it gives you an opportunity for a, a good reciprocal arrangement. So when we're putting information about the Chambers and about the Port of Los Angeles and about our clients, they're doing the same for us. So you're building up your, um, your visibility online. You have a better opportunity to get your information out to other clients, to a broader audience and vice versa. And it just, again, starts helping you become more of an online expert and resource. So that's it. Five tips. Thank you very much.